I'm making a simple pasta sauce inspired by Alison Roman. It's one of my favorites. My dinner guest is someone I've known since childhood. It's strange to say you've known someone all your life, but do you ever wonder how much of that person you really know? Several weeks ago, I woke up to a dizzy world, swaying from vertigo. Doing anything was a challenge. I felt nauseated most of the day and stayed close to the floor in what I now call my security beanbag. It was tough to stare at any screen for long. Entertainment was looking out a large window. I saw empty streets, watched clouds go by, and imagined sitting on a sailboat while I swayed and snacked on buttered toast to soothe me. Every moment felt like a game of truth or dare with myself. Some days it was better to just close my eyes because going in was the only way out. One rainy day, after struggling to find a comfortable napping position on my beanbag, like my dog used to do in his bed, I tilted my head a certain way and noticed the street I grew up on as a child. In all the times I had sat on that spot, I had never noticed it. I suddenly thought of my friend and memories of happily playing in the rain and being in the moment came rushing back. She's my inspiration behind this series. The one who convinced me to create with abandon, who reminds me to never lose touch with that childlike sense of wonder and awe. There's so much I want to tell my younger self about life after eight, but she hates spoilers and I have a feeling she'll be all right because after enduring so many heart storms, I know she'll eventually discover the most important thing. I want to share a beautiful poem by Derek Walcott called Love After Love. The time will come when with elation you will greet yourself arriving at your own door in your own mirror. And each will smile at the other's welcome and say, sit here, eat. You will love again the stranger who was yourself. Give wine, give bread, give back your heart to itself, to the stranger who has loved you all your life, whom you ignored for another, who knows you by heart. Take down the love letters from the bookshelf, the photographs, the desperate notes. Peel your own image from the mirror. Sit. Feast on your life.